Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to do a real quick video um, that might help some of you. I know that this is the most confusing part for me. Um, I just recently made a faux dory and the most common misunderstanding or like complicated part of this is actually threading the elastic through. So this is my Midori and I'm just going to show you how I did mine. First of all, you should already have your leather and your elastic. <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you on a um, four hole, uh, four elastics. So that would be three holes for me. That's just how I did it and it works for me. And I like my holes to be punched with this little heart puncher that I have. But a lot of people use a nail and a hammer, which is fine. So you want to start with the middle hole and you want to thread it from the outside toward the inside of the leather. And then you want to go back and put your jewel in first. Like if you have a charm or anything, you want to go and put that in first. I'm just using this really big one so that way you could see it better. Then you take the, the other end of the elastic and you thread it through the second hole on the other side. <coughs> And so then you want to pull it through and once you got it through you make sure your bead is nice and tight um, you want to use a better bead than that so it lays flat but again I just wanted to show you how it looks so then you um, pull it through towards the bottom holes and you loop it to the end on the opposite of the top one and loop it back through the middle towards the inside of the Midori. And then you wanna go back through the middle a second time with this one going out. So you might wanna hold your inside from the first one. It's kinda of complicated, sounds complicated, but it's really easy. And then you pull it through this other loop on the opposite side and down again, and then back to inside the middle. So you'll have two of them inside the middle from where you started from. You end up where you start and you just tie them together. So I'll show you again really quick just so that way um, if you missed any angles or whatever. It's really easy, only takes a couple minutes and um, it just seems more complicated than it is. <clears throat> so I don't know if you could see it, but you have it there in the middle you start in the middle and then you go outside add your bead you pull it through the down in the center and then you go back again see it going through the outside coming from the ins into the inside down to the bottom back through the outside and in towards the center loop again and pulled through and tie And that way you'll have um, four strings that way. <clears throat> and then you make a knot there. Pull it pretty tight. This is just to show you, but this is not really how it looks and that leaves you with four strings. See there again I'm pulling it out so you can see exactly um, how it looks. So to do the center one, the one that the closure, you start from the outside and you want to put your beads in first for this one. <clears throat> so you go ahead and put your beads in and that's just how I do it. It's easier for me I think. A lot of people like thread the hole first but I think it's easier to have them on and then you but then again, my holes are pretty bigger than the rest. And then you pull them through from the outside towards the end of the Midori. You tie them together and you want to make a pretty big knot so it doesn't go back pulled through. And then um, once you have it in there, you pull your charms together towards the front of the Midori. Pull your elastic around and there you have your closure.
with your charms in front. Really cute. Really cute. Really simple. I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you want me to even do the video again, that's fine. It's, it's not hard. It just seems hard. But it's really easy. And there you have it. That's my Midori. And I added the embellishments. I made a little sort of a charm dangly and tight. Looped it through the top. But thanks for watching.